Britain, Japan and Italy have signed an international treaty to establish a program to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet from 2025 onwards, and will conduct its first flight by 2035. Amidst the ongoing Philippines-China naval standoff in the South China Sea, Indian Navy's INS Kadmapped anti-submarine corvette has docked in Philippines, and the warships of both countries will conduct a maritime partnership exercise in the West Philippine Sea. The Maharashtra ATS has arrested a 23-year-old trainee worker of Mumbai Naval Dockyard, for sharing photos and videos of important installations with a Pakistan intelligence operative on Facebook. The Indian Navy will soon re-induct INS Tarmugli, which is a fast attack craft that was returned by Maldives in May 2023 after serving for 17 years. The Indian Navy has released a request for information to lease a tanker for 18 months, and it will be an interim measure till Hindustan shipyard starts delivery of five fleet support ships. A Taiwanese pilot was offered $15 million to defect to China, and land a US-made Chinook helicopter on a Chinese Navy ship in the Taiwan Strait. The Amidir Network has announced plans to exit India after a decade of investing $500 million which has faced accusations of orchestrating regime change in Ukraine. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has submitted its response to the Defence Ministry tender for building three more Calvary-class submarines for the Indian Navy. The Indian Navy chief has instructed officials, to squeeze the time frame to complete the procedures for beginning the construction of the three new submarines at the earliest. The gas turbine research establishment has partnered with an Indian private company, to develop the necessary standard operating procedures for integrating the cavalry engine into the Tejas light combat aircraft for limited flight trials, that will provide valuable insights into the performance of the engine for further optimization, and will lead to development of future high thrust variant of the cavalry engine. The Indian Army has unveiled an innovative decoy system, that can be mounted on quadcopter drones, which uses Lundberg lenses to mimic the radar cross-section of Indian Army helicopters to deceive enemy radar systems. It will create false radar echoes, similar to the signature of actual Indian helicopter, and this deception can serve several tactical purposes. The Defence Acquisition Council has approved a 2,800 crore rupees proposal for buying 6,400 Pinnaker rockets for the Indian Army. The Army has a requirement of 22 regiments of the Pinnaker, and private sector firms Larsen and Tubro Tata Defence and Economic Explosives Limited have already set up production lines for the Pinnaker rockets. The RDO's Composites Research Center is developing a composite hull for an advanced armored platform, to evaluate the performance of different composite materials and configurations under shock loading conditions. Composite materials offer several advantages, like reduced weight, improved ballistic protection, enhanced corrosion resistance. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>